hey you guys welcome back to my channel um, today's the day after Christmas I hope everybody had a great holiday for those who are new to my channel my name is Gerby Norellis you can follow me on Facebook Gerby Norellis you can follow me on Instagram G Norellis um, yeah today is um, December 25th I mean 26 I had a great um, Christmas with my family my son got to open a whole bunch of presents me and my husband decided to not buy each other anything this year because you know we just been doing a lot of spending buying other things got new phones and stuff so we're like let's just spoil the baby so you know we bought him almost everything he wanted on his list some of the things I wasn't able to find um, cause, you know Amazon I didn't want to take the risk of shopping last minute on Amazon and it comes late but he was still grateful and he was still happy to have all the gifts that he wanted and um, yeah it was good we got him a guitar because he always kept asking for a guitar but I guess it's a little too big for him so hopefully he grows into it and he enjoys playing with the guitar and also um, we bought some um, slime kits because he loves slimes and also bought a lot of builder kits where he's able to build stuff because he likes to um, he, he likes Legos he likes to build whatever Lego stuff I, I'm always finding a Lego around the house in the car so I got him some more Legos got him some Ninja Turtle stuff but I'm just grateful that I'm able to, you know, buy him some of the stuff. Because I understand this Christmas was a big struggle for some families. And I'm just grateful that I'm financially able to buy him the things. And on another thing that helped me is Facebook Marketplace. Um, I didn't buy used toys. But I was able to find this woman like a, a year back. I needed a gift for somebody. And at that time, we... We only had one car, so my husband had the car, and I was like, oh, I got this party tomorrow, and I don't want to have to go to the store last minute, so I was like, let me see if anybody on Marketplace is selling any brand new kids toys. So there was this woman online, and she had um, posted that she, you know, sells toys. She has like a toy shop at her house. So I bought a gift from her. She was willing to deliver to me because she wasn't far from me. And, you know, everything turned out great. So then this year, I was like, you know, last minute shopping instead of being responsible because I've been so busy. You see, I haven't posted a video in over two weeks. I've been so busy between my son in school, my husband, working, the dog. I just have not had time to film. I haven't even had time to go shopping or even like I bought a little couple of things at the store but not like the what he really really wanted and you know he's a kid he mostly wants spider-man or arts and crafts stuff so I went to Walmart and it was just the crowds were way too much every store was way too much I don't know what's up with people this Christmas and like people were fighting in line and I was like I just I'm kind of like a person who's claustrophobic I don't like to be really close to people so I was like let me see if anybody and marketplace has something but then um she randomly popped up in my feed like a marketplace and i was like oh my gosh i remember her so let me look real quick to find her information um it's called ashley discount toys she lives in um paulding county so if you're in the Atlanta area or the surrounding around Paulding County you can go to her and I think she also she might deliver but I don't know if because of COVID maybe she wants she does it in her home she basically turned the front part of her home into like a toy shop there was like everything the one side was boys one side were girls babies and she was very cheap and affordable I think she buys wholesale pallets and then she sells the stores you know to, I mean she sells the toys to you know people online on marketplace yeah it's let me see if you guys can see it well I'll put the link in her information down below but it's called she it's called Ashley's discount toy she's in Paulding County you can follow her she'll answer you you know it's a group and she sells Ninja Turtles all different type of toys so if like a birthday pops up or you have to buy something for a kid for a birthday last minute and you don't feel like rushing to go to the store just you know head over to her page if you're in Georgia I don't know if she ships she might ship also so you know I, I just message her and see what she got it's easier so most at least 90% of the toys that I got from my son was from her and everything was brand new nothing was broken everything was 
perfect still in his package nice and everything and he was happy everybody was happy my dogs they got to eat a great meal they got bones their little doggy bones for christmas and we spent time i'm gonna post some pictures of you know the holidays my son woke me up like at 6 30 6 o'clock in the morning and i'm tired from gift wrapping a whole bunch of <laughs> presents so when my husband was like take some family pictures i was like uh -uh, i don't want to take pictures right now but <laughs> i took some pictures so i looked tired look my husband he was in this christmas spirit i got him to put the christmas shirt that i got him and my son had his christmas shirt i had some christmas pajamas like this this is like a little moo moo i'm wearing right now because i'm about to do a little tutorial i want to sh um this is gonna be my first time trying the straight crochet and i'm gonna leave like a leave out like just a little bit because I like crochet but I just don't like the look of the knots so I could do an invisible part but I just want to try this time to do the crochet with some leave out hair the straight crochet this is my hair I just washed and blow dry it um, this is three months of regrowth because I had a blonde color and um, it literally started breaking my hair so what I decided to do around September around my birthday is like just chop all the color off so I had like maybe an inch of hair left and then I did protective styles I did a sew in for the first two months then I did a crochet for like a month and then literally what, what and then I did the box braids as you guys saw from my previous videos I left the box braids in for a month because um, I tend to have bad dandruff, so I can walk around here all white and snowy. So that was for about a month. Yeah, so I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to achieve that style. Um, I ain't got no makeup today, so I'm plain Jane, wearing my little moo moo. So I'll be back, and I'll show you the braid pattern and the leave out that I have with my hair. And um, yeah, I'll be back. So we'll be back and see what you know style I left out hey I'm back and um, this is my braiding pattern so far as you can see what I ended up doing is braiding my hair back so I just braided each braid back connect braid back connect braid back connect braid back connect on both sides I also left some leave out in the front all the way down to the back same thing with the other side left some hair out same braid pattern braid back grab braid back grab I also left a good chunk over here because I don't want the crochets to be like you know seen so I want the knots to be able to be fully covered because once you flat iron your hair your hair gets thinner so I want to make sure that the fullness is enough to cover up the knots that will be showing in the crochet I'm also going to put some oil in my hair this is Haitian black castor oil so I got a bottle you can go to any local beauty supply store and get regular Jamaican castor oil or um, if you have a Haitian store in your city I would recommend getting some Haitian castor oil there's different companies you can actually go online also and you can you know get oil order oil online from any Haitian vendor that's selling it um, this oil, I use it to rub on my son's chest when he has a cold. If I break an ankle, Haitian, we use this oil for everything. We put it on our scalp. We put it for an injury. We put it for a cold. I heard some people even drink it. I, I haven't drunk it, but, you know, I've heard it works for many things. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put the oil. I have my little bottle where it has that. It was a regular bottle. I put a little hole in it. That way I'm able to drop it because every time I have those other bottles they tend to like spew out but this one I'm able to better control so let me start putting some oil in my scalp like this rub it rub it put it in a part rub it rub it same thing for this side and it's not too thick like I said, you can use it for almost anything, but I love to put it on my scalp. It doesn't have a harsh smell, you know. It makes your scalp feel good. Scalp feels greased and everything. I'm going to take some and rub it in the back. 
and you know as you put it on the side it starts to drip back so you don't really have to 100% go back there and add oil I'm just gonna add a little bit feeling a little lazy <laughs> yeah when I finish doing the braids my end braid I end up just crocheting it and tucking it in and just put it across that way I can be able to hide it probably can't see it but yeah so I think I greased enough because I always end up getting the worst dandruff ever so I don't grease my scalp too much because they say when you have um, a lot of dandruff it's not good because it just builds up a bunch of gunk so this keeps my head light sometimes I rub olive oil I don't use coconut oil in the winter in the summer I'll use coconut oil but I feel like in the winter coconut oil makes your hair more brittle so I recommend castor oil tea tree oil um, olive oil on your head and it'll do the trick it'll help with the dandruff just don't put too much because when you have a lot of dandruff too much oil will make it bulk up and now you just have a bunch of gunk on your scalp so I went to my local beauty supply store bought this hair it's a three pack it's already pre-stressed probably cost me it cost yeah, only $3.99 at my beauty supply store near me um hopefully this whole pack does my whole head I don't really think that I have a big enough head to do two packs some people use one so I'm a some people use two I'm gonna use like thin strands I'm gonna split it very very small because I want the knots to stay when you um I'm looking into the other camera instead of directly at the camera when you do them bulky the more likely they are to um you know unknot so I'm going to do them the thinnest as much as possible I only want to use three I don't want to use more than that so yeah let's see I'm going to do a beginning tutorial on how I did it and then once I'm 100% complete I'll come back and I'll show you the finished product because I don't feel like recording all this and plus my battery is probably a little but drained so I'm just going to show you a quick tutorial on how you can do the knots and stuff like that and then just gonna do I'll do a row and then I'll come back and I'll show you the finished product so I'm gonna do it about this thin see how thin this piece is this thin is gonna go right here it's gonna be a little knot so get your crochet needle Please tell me my needles here. I hate when I lose something. So what you do is, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put the needle through the first loop. Put the hair through the strand. Make sure, bring the latch down, bring it forward, let go of the latch. Let's see. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, we got it. Put a little bit like this. A little bit like this. A little bit like this. I would recommend probably twisting it at least four to five times. Sometimes I don't pay attention. I end up doing like six of them. Bring it up, close it really tight, and that's one. One down, a hundred more to go. <laughs> so let me do it again. Since I said I was going to do a row with you guys. Again, split very, very small. Very, very thin. Okay. Find a little loop. Put it through. I've been doing my own hair since I was 12 years old. My mother, she's a nurse, so when we moved to Georgia, she had to stay in Massachusetts for a whole entire year. So, you know, it was me and my four other sisters, and 
we used to go to this lady to do our hair but she would take hours and then i was like a teenager the way she was doing my hair was like i was like a little two-year-old so one day i just started splitting my hair up and started braiding and i just never went back to her i've always done my own braids sometimes my mother would pay somebody to do like box braids professional when i was younger but literally once i would say about 14 15 nobody else has ever touched my hair i had my best friend's mother at that time she did my hair for like a sewing for my graduation picks but after that it's always been me I've always done my own box braids always done my own sew-ins I've always done my siblings hair when we were younger sometimes when we're older I do their hair and I always do my mother's hair all the time she got a whole bunch of women in the house <laughs> that can do hair for her for free so she never pays to get her hairstyle done and um, yeah so here's the third one Put it in through the loop, pull it back in, take it, put it through the hole, twist it a little bit, do it again, twist it a little bit, do it again, twist it a little bit, put it through the loop a third time, and pull really tight and yeah that's it three down hopefully when I'm done it turns out really pretty <laughs> I hope this is all worth it cuz I'm like I could have just done sewing but I didn't feel like threading my hair and doing all that and I was like I have this hair laying around I might as well use it for something so again then Put it through the braid, put it up the braid, put it through the loop twist, put it through the loop twist, put it through the loop twist, and put it in. So I've showed you about four, we're almost done with the row, as you can see. And I think when I put the hair over it, I want it to lay super flat. I don't want no bump. Like, I don't want it big and bulky. I want it flat. That's why I'm doing it extra thin. Extra, extra thin. Good about this hair. I didn't buy super silky. I bought it, like, almost my texture. So once I flatten this out, it's going to be like, yes. <laughs> you know? So when I come back, y'all going to see my hair fully done. And then I'm going to flat iron it and try to make it blend. Um, it's also late, so I'm tired. So I might not do it. You might see me in the morning <laughs> finally flat ironing it. But when I come back, I'm going to show you the end results of it being fully done throughout my whole entire head. I'm going to do the whole entire thing. And then if I feel like it, I'll flat iron. If I don't, then I'll just take a picture of the end results. <laughs> and yeah, we'll be back. Okay, I'm back. And this is the results so far. I've managed to crochet the whole entire hair as you can see each individual row is done small crochet in each row I did them very small the knots are flat so you don't see no bumps also the back it's not perfect but it's you know covers enough for the back um i tried to put some layers in but i feel like i'm tired it's like 11 o'clock at night well no it's actually 12. started around 7 a.m but then i had to pause because i had to do something with for my son and then I got distracted doing other things and I was watching the Parkers on Netflix while doing my hair and you know when you stand for long hours doing your hair you get tired so I sat down took a break but yeah this is it so far it's cute you know synthetic hair doesn't stay that long but hopefully this gives me at least a good two weeks I'll do an update to see how it 
holds on so far. I'm about to flat iron it. I was gonna just flat iron it, take a picture, review what it would look like in the morning, but I have like multiple hair appointments tomorrow, people I have to do. So I know I'm just gonna be way too tired at the end of the day to be like taking a picture. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly flat iron it, come back, and I'm gonna show you the final look after I flat iron my hair. I'm gonna try to make it blend in. Hopefully this turns out nice and just do what I can. The color is perfect too. It actually matches my color. This is 1B and we'll see. Be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I flat ironed my hair. As you can see, you can kind of see because I have some color from my last time I dyed my hair. But as you can see, it blends in really nice. What I wish I had done is instead of doing the braids over here going back, I should have done like one halo fork, well, fork type of braid going back like this. Because I feel like in the back, I can still kind of see a little bit of the knots. Uh, I'm covering it as much as I can, but I can still feel it, feel a little bumpy. So I recommend like you do like a braid that's, you know, like like a fork braid going down. That way everything can lay back perfect like this. But other than that, it's nice, you know, I, my edges being out, you know. It is a little thin, but they're getting better. <laughs> Keep putting that Haitian castor oil. And also for the back, you can see back is covered. So that's nice also. So I can put it up in a ponytail if I choose to. It's cute. It's something temporary for women who don't have that much money to buy like a natural sewing or even just to buy a sewing with I managed with one pack to do all of this and I only I still got a little bit left out of the three pack bundle I bought the hair for $3.99 you know it's cute I'm gonna cut it more cuz when you're a mom you got pets long hair is way too much it's probably gonna most likely always be in a ponytail but I'm gonna cut it just a little bit and then maybe when I'm finally like at my last couple of weeks or last week of this hair I'll probably cut it to a short bob hopefully it doesn't tangle as much because this is synthetic hair so hopefully it doesn't and yeah it's 12 o'clock at night 12 30 I'm tired I'm ready to go to bed the next video I have my hair more done, makeup done, I got bags under my eyes, I'm tired, I'm ready to go to bed, yeah. So hopefully you like my little tutorial, it wasn't as specific where you guys see me do the steps of doing it exactly how I do it, but at least you got to see the braid pattern I did and a little bit of how I hooked it in my hair and you know, I just took a regular flat iron flat iron my hair I'm gonna try to blend it in better so but it's late at night I'm tired this is the best I can do and this is what it looks like but $3.99 I managed to get this hairstyle it's not bad the back can do a little better but it's not bad for $3.99 it's cute so yeah again it's cute so if you like the video, click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Yeah, so good night and see you guys next time. Bye.